Welcome to an in-depth look at the new talent system in Heroes of the Storm. In each Heroes of the Storm match, you're given a series of talents to choose from every few levels to customize your hero. These can increase the damage of your abilities, imbue your hero with special attributes, or even give your abilities all new effects. To appropriately react to your opponent's strategies, you must know how to choose talents that synergize together. Let's take Muradin, for example. Muradin starts with three core abilities. His Q ability, Stormbolt, throws a hammer, stunning and damaging the first enemy it hits. His W ability, Thunderclap, slows and damages nearby enemies. Dwarf Toss, his E ability, causes Muradin to leap to a target area, dealing damage to nearby enemies when he lands. If you want to build Muradin to concentrate on stuns to raise his utility in teamfights, choose Skullcracker at level 4, which stuns enemies every fourth attack against the same target. Improve Dwarf Toss at level 7 by taking Landing Momentum, level 13 by choosing Dwarf Launch, and level 16 by selecting Heavy Impact. This increases the movement speed of Muradin upon landing, increases the range and impact area of Dwarf Toss, and stuns any enemies hit by Dwarf Toss, respectively. Combine this with the Avatar Heroic ability at level 10 to allow Muradin to control fights around critical battleground objectives. This is especially useful on Cursed Hollow, where tightly grouped team fights frequently break out around tributes. On the other hand, if you want to focus on damage, take Perfect Storm at level 1, which increases Stormbolt's damage by 5 for each enemy hero hit. Then, at level 7, take Piercing Bolt, which allows Stormbolt to hit an additional target. Every time you hit two targets with these talents, you'll actually gain 10 permanent damage on Stormbolt. With this build, choose Haymaker as your heroic ability at level 10 due to its strong damage and disruption. If you're on a large battleground like Dragonshire or Blackheart's Bay where large group team fights tend not to happen, take Thunderstrike at level 13 to maximize your damage against single targets. If you're on Cursed Hollow or Haunted Mines where fights are more grouped up around objectives, instead take Dwarf Launch to jump into the middle of a fight and Haymaker an opponent immediately. Bear in mind that each hero's match will be different than the last. Your talents allow you to specifically adapt your build to react to your team's hero composition, the opponents you're playing against, what battleground you find yourself on, and even how well your allies are assisting you. Knowing what talents to choose depending on the situation is key. Take Burning Rage if you find your team paired against opponents with lots of melee characters that like to stand in a fight and dish out damage, like Stitches. This talent deals constant damage every second around your hero. Burning Rage is especially effective on Haunted Mines, as it allows you to continually deal sustained damage in the mines themselves and around big map objectives. It combos incredibly well with the Thunderburn talent in this situation, as heroes like Stitches, who don't have an explicit escape ability, get slowed twice by Thunderclap and constantly take damage from Burning Rage. If you find yourself lacking a reliable healer on your team, take Healing Static, which heals Muradin for 1% for each target hit by Thunderclap. If you combo that with the Thunderburn talent from level 4, which activates a second Thunderclap shortly after the first, you can double the amount of health gained very quickly from healing static, giving you much more sustain in lane and in fights. If you're matched against those heroes like Vala that have abilities that let them reposition very quickly, improve your Dwarf Toss ability by selecting Landing Momentum. Landing Momentum gives you a 20% speed boost following Dwarf Toss, so if Vala keeps faulting away from you, now you can leap towards her and catch up to her with your movement speed boost. We'll be continuing to update the talent system as the game develops. We're looking at implementing systems that give you a view into your opponent's talents. This will give you the ability to reactively choose your build depending on what you see. That's all for this video. Don't forget you can register for beta access to the game at heroesofthestorm.com. This is Kevin Naki for Blizzard Entertainment. We'll see you next time.